Easing rules are such a relief for so many, yet some counties found out that nothing's going to change right away for them. And with COVID cases raging across the nation, it's also worth asking right now if Colorado's moving too fast. And tonight, we're taking a 360 look at it all. First up, what's the reason for the change? Well, basically, the state moved the target for COVID case numbers in each county. The vast majority of counties are in level orange right now. But come 9 a.m. tomorrow, many will move down to level yellow because their number of new cases per 100,000 people is below 300. Businesses like restaurants and gyms are limited to 25% capacity at level orange. But when counties drop to level yellow and below, the limit rises to 50%. And in counties where the rules are about to ease, businesses are already celebrating the Super Bowl weekend. Our CB Cotton's live tonight in Denver, and CB capacity caps have been a huge struggle through these winter months. And in Shannon, they have. And today, some Denver businesses learned they had been approved for the five star program to help increase capacity. And this is welcomed news because these outdoor tables and heating lamps you see behind me are a reminder of how hard it's been for businesses to get through this difficult time. But new COVID 19 dial changes mean that come tomorrow, everyone will get increased capacity. And some business owners tell me they have strong feelings about how all of this is playing out. Chef Linda Hampson Fox has spent this week pouring through pages to get her restaurant submitted for Denver's five star program. We were contacted with a letter that our application was accepted and that we would be able to schedule an audit. Now she's in the process of scheduling that audit for her restaurant, The Bindery. The audit is the last step before a restaurant can receive five star approval and operate with increased capacity. But a changed COVID-19 dial now means come Saturday, all businesses can operate with more customers. I'm not disturbed at all by the change and the idea that I spent time on this application. In fact, Hampston Fox is thrilled. I said it's a win win because it means we're trending in the right uh, direction. Uh, right there. Meanwhile, as Denver Mayor Michael Hancock hand delivered some of the city and county's first five star certifications on Friday night, some recipients say their energy has been wasted. The whole benefit was to get to 50% being a five star, going through all the hoops, and now everyone else, everyone gets the benefit. Vesalay says working to receive the five star certification on the door of his restaurant, Blake Street Tavern, took his team precious time and money. Quite frankly, I don't have the money to be spending on payroll for that type of stuff. So he hopes the state will recognize the efforts. I hope the governor recalibrates next week and says, OK, we need to take care of the hundreds and hundreds of restaurants that have already done five star and to and reward them. For Hampton Fox, completing the application was a reward of its own. It helped us again refocus. While both owners see it differently, they do agree on one thing. You know what though? It still will make people, I hope, feel safer. So I think people will start to feel more confident that it is safer. The mayor's office tells us a total of 19 businesses in Denver were notified today that they had received five star certification. The state does say that some of these five star businesses will reap the reward for their efforts. As soon as 70% of the state's 70 and older population is vaccinated, those five star businesses will be able to operate at level blue. Reporting live, I'm CB Cotton for Denver 7. Yeah.